Let's move on now to our top story. This is the brand new Apple TV 4K. Now, I use the word brand new, but to a lot of people, this is very familiar. Little smaller, the processor is the A15 Bionic chip, smaller, no fan inside, up to 128 GB storage now, connects with the iPhones, AirPods. The HDMI cable is not in the box now, you have to buy it separately. And the best part of this is, the price is lower. But is it? Because the Ethernet port has been taken away. So the big question we're answering, we'll tell you all the good stuff about this. We'll compare it to the previous one. The most important question that we'll answer is if you own the previous generation, should you buy the new one? The newly launched Apple TV 4K is an entertainment-filled and power-packed box for anyone looking to buy a new streaming device. It is undoubtedly a great product, but can be marked as a notable upgrade. Let's find out. Physically speaking, the hardware is smaller than its predecessor, about 20% thinner to be precise. It is evidently lighter and can easily fit into any corner of your room or table. Unlike the previous generation, which only had a 64GB model, the latest Apple TV offers a second version, the 128GB model. In addition to the difference in capacity, this new model offers an Ethernet port for those wanting direct and faster internet. Similar to the second generation TV, the hardware includes a Siri remote. The make and model of the remote are exactly the same as before, with one significant difference in the charging port, which is now a Type-C port. It is a great step forward, but at the same time disappointing because Apple doesn't give you a USB-C charger for the remote. As usual, you can use the mic button on the side to instruct Siri with any needed command. It would have been nice to see a few more additions to this remote, but we'll have to keep an eye out for those in the upcoming generation. Exciting news for the gamers, the processor has been bumped up to the A15 Bionic chip, tremendously improving the response time. So no unwanted lag or jitters during games, just faster performance and fluid gameplay. Moving to the software, the UI has a few noteworthy changes. The app quality has gone from HDR10 to HDR10+, which translates to improvement in the color science. As a result, the video playback is highly cinematic. Similar to its predecessor, the new Apple TV 4K has tvOS that provides a grid of apps to choose from. Talking about the apps, customers get a free 3-month subscription to Apple TV Plus and iMusic upon an Apple TV purchase, which is a major plus point. The Gen 3 Apple TV 4K also finally brings a smooth integration of third-party apps to its OS, a much-needed update. The increased connectivity with other Apple devices like the iPhone or iPad makes the experience more efficient and comfortable. You can now truly feel like a part of the ecosystem. While it is obvious that the new Apple TV 4K is an amazing product, it is also clear that there are few improvements and no major leap in terms of updates or changes, specifically in comparison to the previous generation. So Apple users who already have the Gen 2 TV at home do not need this upgrade. But for those looking to add a TV to their Apple ecosystem, this is a good option, especially with a significant lower cost. Apple TV Gen 3 comes in two different prices depending on the model. The 64 GB base model costs 14,990 rupees, while the higher end 128 GB version costs 16,990 rupees, both considerably cheaper than the Gen 2.